Hello and welcome back. And in this video, I want to take a look at the VPOC indicator in more detail as we look at it across a range of markets and also across a range of time frames. So let's take a look at the VPOC in action. And we're going to start up at the top left with the ES contract. This is on a three minute time frame. The physical exchange has been open around 10 or 11 minutes now. And as you can see, we've got an interesting phase of price action developing. We've had a run up this morning. You can see the market move through the low volume nodes very easily and on up to the VPOC area, the VPOC point of control itself, which is the purple dashed line just below the 2101 area. The market, since it's opened, has moved through that VPOC, suggesting bullish sentiment is going to take over. Price agreement has been reached and we're now starting to move higher. And immediately above the region that we're trading at the moment, in the 2103 region, just an index point above where we are at 2102, you can see we have a low volume node. That's the paler color. So should the market continue to hold above the, the VPOC on this time frame, then we can expect to see it move pretty rapidly through 2103 and hopefully higher still during the early part of the trading session. Now, if I change the time frames, we can go and look at some slightly slower time frames to give us some perspective. Let's go down to the five minute on this. There you can see a pretty similar picture. We've got the VPOC in just at 2100. It's just breaking. It's just trying to break away from there. And again, you've got the low volume node above just below the 2103 area. And below we had a high volume node where the market broke down but was held in terms of support there before providing the platform for a bounce higher and up through the VPOC to test the low volume node that's immediately ahead. And we can go to a slower time frame still. Let's go down to the 10 minute for example. Similar picture here. We're rotating around the VPOC at the moment. And we're waiting for a breakaway from the point of control. And we can go up to the 15 minute. And there we are. That gives you a better perspective on the longer term sentiment, if you like, where you're trading multiple time frames and you're looking at the application of the VPOC across the time frames. Here you can see we had the point of control, the volume point of control, that's the dashed line, the purple dashed line down at 2087. A lot of volume activity down there and then we had the breakaway and the market moved very very rapidly through both the low volume nodes the first at uh, 2091 and the next one at 2094 then we had a price pause at 2096 as we hit a high volume node followed by a second and subsequent one at 2098 and now we're looking to test that low volume node at 2103 to develop the bullish momentum further. So that's looking at the ES across three different time frames. Now let's go down to a much faster chart. Here we are on a spot forex chart. This is cable on 30 seconds. Just showing you the VPOC, VPOC in action here. Again, you can see we're actually fluctuating around it. Uh, the market is... Uh, is in price agreement at this point. There is no particular bias to the sentiment one way or the other. The volume is building around the VPOC and for a development, for a breakaway here we have to be patient but it just shows another example of the VPOC working on a very fast chart but the principle is exactly the same with the high volume and low volume nodes accordingly. Just reduce that one down. Now let's move over onto the NQ and here we are, we're on a tick chart. As I say, the VPOC indicator works in exactly the same way 
whether you're trading on seconds, whether you're trading on ticks, or whether you're trading on time-based charts. Here you can see we had the VPOC itself was down at 45.60. We had a breakaway. The market moved very rapidly through the two low volume nodes, one at 45.72 and the other one at just below 45.80. And indeed, it also moved pretty rapidly through the high volume nodes and then came back to test them with a further period of congestion. And now we are building a platform around the 4595 area where volume is building. But we have a low volume node above in the 46 region, just, be, just beyond 46, 4600. So that's what's happening on the NQ in terms of the tick and any move through there. We should see the market continue to climb higher and certainly again you could have the VPOC on a multiple array of tick charts and to set the tick speed you would need something like the quantum tick speedometer to give you that tick setting for your particular time frame that you want to trade. So we'll just minimize that one again. And then down at the bottom, we have three charts just to show you the price action on a slower time frame. Bottom left, we have gold. So let's just enlarge that one. And these are all on the daily. And as you can see, the GC contract gold has been very bearish for some time. The volume point of control itself is well above the current price action in the 11.85 per ounce area. You can see the density of volume there. We've then had these very rapid moves through the low volume regions. We had uh, through 11.50, although there was uh, a little bit of uh, increase in volume there just below, but certainly a low volume and a high volume node there together. And then immediately below that in the 11.35 per ounce area, a very rapid move through the whole of that region, 11.30 right the way down, almost to 11.00. And we've had this pause point where we're running into a high volume node, which is now building in the 10.90 per ounce region there or thereabouts. Now, once the market has cleared that, if we see a break to the downside once again, there is very little to support the market. As you can see, we have a low volume node in the 1074 area. So if the market does break lower, it's very likely that it will move through there extremely rapidly with a further breakdown in the price of gold. Not good news for gold investors, I'm afraid. And here we are in the middle chart on a currency future. This is the Canadian dollar. Once again, you can see the volume point of control pretty high up on the chart. A lot of volume at that region. And we've now broken down with the market very bearish. We've gone through uh, some low volume nodes down at uh, 7770 odd, 7780. Went through there very rapidly. Also through the one just below the 0.8 region. So a very rapid descent. Then we came into a high volume node in the spot 77 area. But that's subsequently broken down. And now we are moving towards a low volume node down in the 7580 area, just below 0.76. So we're likely to see a further continuation of this bearish sentiment and a rapid move through that node in due course. So that's a daily on a currency future. Just minimize that down again. And finally, another very popular contract, which is oil. Let's just enlarge that one again, a daily chart, very similar to the other commodities. There you can see the volume point of control, the price agreement way, way up there on the chart up at uh, $61 a barrel. We then had the breakdown and the very rapid move through the low volume node at 54.50 per barrel down to building a high volume node between 52 and 53 at 52.50 per barrel. And then once again, once that had broken down, a move through the low volume node at 50 
A further congestion phase just above 48, 48.30 per barrel. And then a further breakdown through the low volume node right at the bottom there at 46.30. And this is typically what you will see using the VPOC indicator. It gives you this three dimensional view of volume and price. Volume price analysis incorporating time and the agreement of price at the transacted volumes at the various price regions. And it gives you this perception on the congestion phases and the levels of activity, the volume levels at those regions. And perhaps more importantly, as the market breaks away from the VPOC, which is the fulcrum of price sentiment, it then gives you a perspective on whether the market is likely to move rapidly through the support and resistance regions above and below, or whether you are likely to see further congestion phases build where you have high volume nodes and equally where you have low volume nodes, the prospect of a rapid move through. So it really gives your trading a completely different perspective from a volume price time relationship using the VPOC indicator. So I'm just going to minimize that one back down again. Let's go and have a quick look and see what's going on up on the indices. Let's see if the uh, there we go. Up on the 15 minute looks like uh, bullish momentum is building. Let's go down to our three minute chart again. We're holding above the VPOC there. We just need to get through that uh, low volume node for a continuation. And back up to the five minute there. But we've got the VPOC below. So we are expecting a development of bullish trend. Just minimize that down. Let's go and have a look at the NQ. On the tick chart there, we had a nice move through those... Uh, high volume node so we've got a nice platform of support in below and we're now testing a low volume node at 4611 4612 area and if we move through there it will be nice to see a rapid move through there and then we're on up to the next level on the chart with the VPOC well below and as I explained in the introductory video the VPOC itself will of course move. It is a dynamic indicator. The fulcrum will move as the market moves higher or lower. So we'll just minimize that one again. So there we are. I hope you've enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you in the future when we will be doing more videos on the VPOC. So thanks for watching and why not grab a copy for yourself today. See you soon and bye for now.